So it has finally happened. The unthinkable, the unimaginable, the scenario that was once confined to the realms of fiction and our darkest nightmares. The dead have risen from their graves. Our bustling, lively world is now a desolate expanse of silence and shadows. The streets we once walked without a second thought, now paths of peril. The homes we cherished, now mere shelters against the relentless tide of the undead. The life we knew has been irrevocably altered. Every day is a struggle, a fight for survival. Trust in the familiar has been shattered. Now, our trust lies in the strength of our arms and the sharpness of our wits. In this new world, a world overrun by the walking dead, one question becomes crucial for our survival. In the face of this relentless, undead horde, are we better off armed with the silent but close-quarters lethality of melee weapons or the powerful, ranged assurance of firearms? Join us here at Mostly Ghostly as we delve into this vital debate, weighing the pros and cons, the risks and rewards of melee versus firearms in a world where the dead walk and the living fight. As we navigate through the perilous landscape of a world overrun by the undead, the choice of weaponry becomes a key factor in our survival. Let's first consider the world of melee weapons, those that require close contact with the enemy. From ancient swords to the more modern baseball bat, melee weapons have a certain allure in their simplicity and availability. But are they the best choice in a zombie apocalypse? Let's weigh their pros and cons. Unlimited use. Melee weapons don't rely on ammunition. In a world where resources are scarce, a sword or an axe can be used indefinitely, as long as you maintain its condition. Blint operation. Stealth can be your greatest ally. Melee weapons are quiet, allowing you to take out zombies without attracting more of them with loud noises. Ease of procurement. In a post-apocalyptic world, finding a melee weapon can be as simple as breaking off a sturdy branch or visiting the nearest hardware store. They are everywhere, and they are accessible. In no need for reload. In the heat of the moment when every second counts, a melee weapon won't leave you vulnerable while you reload, as firearms might. Low maintenance. Compared to firearms, most melee weapons require minimal maintenance. A quick sharpen and a clean is often all that's needed to keep your weapon in fighting shape. Close range. To use a melee weapon, you have to get close to the zombies. This proximity increases the risk of getting bitten or overwhelmed especially when facing a horde. Physical demand. Wielding a melee weapon requires physical strength and stamina. In a prolonged fight, or if you're not in good physical condition, you could find yourself at a severe disadvantage. Limited reach. Melee weapons have a limited range, putting you within arm's reach of your undead assailant. In contrast, firearms allow you to keep your distance. Skill and training. Effectively using a melee weapon, especially against multiple foes, requires skill and training. Without proper technique, you risk injury or ineffective strikes. Potential for getting stuck. In a gruesome reality, a melee weapon can get stuck in a zombie, leaving you vulnerable as you try to retrieve it. While melee weapons have their advantages, especially in terms of stealth and availability, their drawbacks are significant. Getting up close and personal with the undead is a dangerous proposition, and it demands both physical prowess and mental resilience. In our next segment, we'll turn our attention to firearms, the ranged option for the zombie fighting survivor. As we continue our survival guide through the desolation left by the undead, our focus shifts to a more modern means of defense, firearms. Guns offer the promise of power and range, potentially keeping the zombies at bay with lethal efficiency. But is the reality as straightforward as it seems? Let's dissect the pros and cons of firearms in a world where the dead roam the earth. Range. Firearms allow you to deal with zombies from a distance, reducing the risk of bites and scratches. 
This range can be the difference between life and death, offering a crucial advantage in maintaining safety. Stopping power. With the right firearm and ammunition, you can stop a zombie in its tracks with a single shot. The stopping power of firearms is unmatched by melee weapons, offering a quick solution to an immediate threat. Effectiveness against groups. In situations where you're facing multiple zombies, firearms can provide a way to thin the horde from a safe distance before they close in on you. Psychological advantage. The mere presence of a firearm can provide a psychological boost, giving survivors a sense of control and power in an otherwise hopeless situation. It is real. Ammunition dependency. Firearms are useless without ammunition, which can be scarce in a post-apocalyptic world. Once you run out, your firearm becomes little more than a cumbersome club. Noise. The report of a gunshot can be heard for miles, attracting more zombies to your location. In trying to defend yourself, you might inadvertently bring a larger threat to your doorstep. Maintenance and malfunctions. Firearms require regular maintenance to function reliably. In the chaos of the apocalypse, the ability to clean and repair your gun can mean the difference between life and death. Furthermore, malfunctions at critical moments can be disastrous. Training and skill required. Effectively using a firearm, especially under stress, requires training and practice. Lack of proficiency can result in wasted ammunition and dangerous situations. Limited close quarters effectiveness. In tight spaces or when surprised, firearms may not be as effective as melee weapons, which don't require the same space to use efficiently. Firearms with their lethal efficiency and range present a compelling option for those navigating the perils of a zombie-infested world. However, their drawbacks, particularly the noise and reliance on scarce ammunition, introduce critical challenges. In the balance of survival, understanding these limitations is key. As we've explored the merits and drawbacks of both melee weapons and firearms, it becomes clear that survival in a zombie apocalypse might not hinge on choosing one over the other, but rather on mastering the strengths of both. As our journey through the desolate landscapes of a world overrun by the undead comes to a close, we've armed ourselves with knowledge about the tools of survival. We have ventured into the silent, deadly embrace of melee combat and felt the raw, distant power of firearms. Each has its place in the survivor's arsenal, with advantages and disadvantages that are as varied as the survivors themselves. In the end, the choice between melee weapons and firearms may not be a choice at all, but a balance. A balance between silence and power, between range and immediacy. Our survival strategy in a zombie apocalypse hinges not just on the weapons we carry, but on our ability to adapt, to understand our surroundings, and to use whatever tools we have at our disposal with wisdom and courage. Remember, the greatest weapon in any apocalypse is not the tool in your hand, but the resilience in your heart and the sharpness of your mind. Stay safe, stay prepared, and keep fighting. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. For more survival tips and strategies, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, keep your weapons sharp and your wits sharper. Ultimately, whether you prefer melee weapons or firearms, the most important principle is being forewarned is forearmed. Understanding the capabilities and limitations of each option is essential in ensuring your safety and the safety of others. Always prioritize proper training, responsible handling, and situational awareness. Stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe out there. If the shadows whispered secrets to you tonight, let us know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to join our ghostly gathering. What haunts your sleep? Share your tales, and they might just be our next eerie adventure. Until then, keep a candle burning.